Hello. Howdy. Uh, whoa, my music is loud on my end, but I know it. it for some reason, it, it always, when I do this, lately anyways, when I do an overture, sometimes the music's really quiet, and I don't understand how to fix that. I might have to do a test stream one of these days and just try and fix it real quick, but I guess we'll see. But yes, hello. It's Zai. It's Lar. Today, we're playing Undertale. I've been saying that I wanted to play this game for a while, because uh, I actually have played this game a few times before. It's very fun. But I, I've never done all the routes. I'll probably just do the, the normie route this time, honestly, and just do, you know, pacifist, because it's fun. And just cute, enjoy all, like, the cute dialogue and stuff. But yeah, uh, this isn't my first experience with the game, so if I do something morally objectionable, just let you, just, just remember that I've, I've played it before. I've seen all the good endings and stuff, so it's all good. But, uh, yeah, so today we're, we're just doing that. And I, I felt like, I'm gonna cut the music, but I felt like I couldn't just have, like, the game open, you know? So this is gonna be very unprofessional. But I'm going to have to open, like, the game and then start casting it. Like, as I'm on stream here. Because I really wanted to, like, have... This is very silly of me to, like, focus so hard on it. But I wanted it to have it, like, the stream start and then we get to watch the intro together, right? Like, I feel like that's just right in some way. Hold on, then. It's preparing to launch. So in the meantime, I will screen share undertale oh got it perfect the most professional ever the best gamer with one viewer oh it is a bit it's a bit loud on my end though well it, it won't change intros are cool i enjoy it right me too this intro is very good oh i might want to turn off chat box just for this game just because it's takes up so much of your screen you know We'll see. We'll see. I don't know if I want to have chat box interrupting this this one specifically. I think I'm going to turn it off. But yes. Legends say those who climb the mountain never return. Uh, I also... I'm going to be playing this on keyboard because uh, this is the, actually the only way I've ever played this game was on keyboard. Even though uh, almost objectively a bullet hell is way easier with like... 360 de degree controls and not four way controls. But you know what? It's fine. Also, I'm gonna hit Frog 4 and full screen it on my end because that's 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 the, that's that's a reference to the game. You'll see later on. That's that's a game reference to this game, Undertale. I'm moving my cursor off the screen. I don't know if anyone can even see it. Press Z or Enter. Okay, damn it. So, <laughs> this is going to reveal that I'm a shit person, and I'm going to- I'm failing morally. I tried freshly, like, I uninstalled the game and then reinstalled it, like, hoping that by freshly installing it, it would not save my data. But now it's really clear that I spent about 600 hours on this game, and... I freed everyone, and now I'm about to pull everyone back into their shitty lives just so I can stream the game. I'm very sorry. See, this is what I was warning people about just in case this happened. Yes, I know that this is not the correct decision. I'm very sorry. I can't help it. We gotta play the game. I'm very, I'm really sorry ahead of time. But yeah. So what what should we name? What should we name our character? I only have I have one viewer currently. That can make an input on this decision. But if no one picks anything, I'll just go with like Lahara instead of like Kara or Chara or whatever you want to call them. Would that be funny? Can I just name myself Sans? I feel like Sans will object to this. Right? I remember there being some thing where if you write a character's name on the menu, they get pissed at you about it. Nope. Yeah, <laughs> he won't let me. He's mad. My input is Sans. We truly just did it. Look, he said no. We can't. We cannot be Sans. Uh, how about Papyrus? Oh, we gotta do it with capital P or it'll totally let me. Let, let's see what all the, the, the dialogue has to say, right? 
pie. Wrist. Oh. Uh. No backspace. Oh. Wait. Wait, I'm stupid. Uh. Uh. No. Oh. Oh, I can't fit it. Oh. The never mind, actually. I bet it'll actually let me do like Papira. So then I revoke my input. Yeah, let's do Toriel. That'll be good. Well, well let, let's see if she has anything to say. I just dragged her back from her happy ending, so I'm sure she's very happy to hear from me. I think you should think of your own name, my child. That's cute. She wants me to use my own name. All right. Should I? No, let's do Undyne. That's my real name. My real name is Undyne Lar Mertens. It's me. Undyne. Yeah. Undyne Lar. Get your own name! <laughs> That's a good way to start the stream, I think. It's the, just seeing all the dialogue. How about Alfie's? Will she let me use her name? Alfie's, I feel like, is such a pushover, she'll let me use her name, right? Right? She's gotta. Also, man, these letters are quivering. I never noticed how much these letters quiver, but they really are going for it, huh? Oh, I misspelled Alfie's. I'm stupid. Uh, the, the stream intro was Alfie's and Undyne bonk go to horny jail i was uh, very proud of that art when i did it and i'm still proud of that art D don't do that oh <laughs> she's mad howdy lar how are you funny sans joke i already said made the sans joke i'm sorry i'm doing okay we're streaming undertale today i'm already just digging into this game for dialogue because i love this game uh we did undyne alfie's toriel Ooh, Asgore. Will Asgore fit? I bet he'll be pissed if I pick his name. Actually, he won't be pissed. He's just a fuzzy little pushover. Like, he's super tough, and he's, like, absolutely god of this world. But, man, he's also just a fuzzy little pushover. When you think about it, really. He's just a fluff ball. You cannot! <laughs> I like you cannot. I was about to new boot up New Vegas, but I saw you playing Undertale. Didn't want to ruin your stream. Aw. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm using your copy. I'm very sorry. I'll, I'll be off soon enough, and then you can play New Vegas. I'm sorry. New Vegas is very good, too. I do plan on playing all the Fallout games on stream at some point as well. But for now, you, you simply cannot. Yeah, I simply cannot. You cannot be Asgore. Uh, is there any other major character names that I could pick? I think maybe Papyrus will say something if I... I don't know if I want to risk it, though. If I name myself Papyr, I'll, I'll never live it down. Ah, but should I risk it? I know, I think Cat, isn't it, like, randomly, but, like, Caddy and Braddy both have dialogue? Hold on. I remember this vaguely. This was in, like, an episode of, like, Obscure Game Facts or, like, Did You Know Gaming or something weird and lame like that. Braddy, Braddy, that's my name. Oh, wait! I can pick Caddy, but they'll just be, they'll be like, no, that's my name. Hold on, let me name myself Braddy then. Will they have a reverse interaction? Uh, that's amazing. Oh, you know what? If, I think at the end of this, we gotta name ourselves Mew Mew for Mew Mew Kissy Cutie. We gotta do it for the reference. Right? I feel like it's gotta happen. Like, okay, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I forgot that randomly Caddy and Braddy both have dialogue for this. What the hell? I love it. Asriel or try ah? You know what? I, I want to try Asriel. I wonder what he'll think. Oh, maybe Flowey too. Ooh, we could do both. Hold on. As... Re L. Oh, oh, he's just pissed. <laughs> he doesn't even say anything. Just da da da. Da da da. Um, let's do Flowey. Okay, 
I have a very strong opinion about this for no reason, but some people uh, pronounce flowy flowy, and those people are th thought criminals, and I will see them in hell. Because that is just blatantly incorrect. He's a flower named Flowey. It's not a flower named Flowey. That's not how that works. That's not how it's pronounced. Try Papyru? Okay, I will. I already chose that name. Oh, Flowey's being a bitch. <laughs> Sorry, that's that's not cool of me. Flowey's being a hoe. God, someone's blasting, blasting crappy music in their mic? In my SCOD lobby. Okay. Sorry, Reservoir Dogs. That's crazy. Try Papyru. Let's do it. Yeah, I was worried that it'll just name me Papyru, but let's find out. I mean... Right? Like, because I get a chance to say no. So it's worth the risk. Papyru. Where's the U? Oh, it's all the way over here. And then I think if I, yeah, if I try, yeah, no. I'll allow it. Oh, he'll let me. Because <laughs> it's so close to his name. But not quite. Should we do Papyru? Okay, I'll be back when I'm finished. All right, have fun, Reservoir. Man. Should we, he'll let me, he'll let me use Papyru. Should we do it? I don't know. You want, ah? Let's see if anyone says anything. I'll try. If the ah would be appropriate for my stream memes as well. For ah, ah. I could just be lowercase a. Uh, not very creative. <laughs> now that is cute, actually. I didn't remember that one happened. I like not very creative. That's cute. All right, all right, all right. I want to see if Mew Mew does anything, honestly. Just just in case, like, will will Alfie's have a positive reaction to this? Nah, okay, so is this name correct? Damn. How about Jerry? Ooh, it's true. Everyone hates Jerry. That's true. That's true. Jerry! <laughs> that tickled me more than I expected it to. <laughs> Just Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> oh boy, that's funny. Wait, can I name myself other like minor characters? What about Snowdrake? I like Snowdrake. Is there even enough room? No, there's totally not. If there's not enough for Papyrus, there's not enough room for Snowdrake. What's another little, frog it let's try the, i was like what's the most basic enemy with like a short name and i i shouldn't say enemy they're not enemies in this game they're just little monsters they're great they're like me they're just little things is this is there enough room no oh that's so unfortunate are all of the enemy names you got stream donations on yeah you can send me bits if you want uh, so yeah, it's gonna be between, uh, Mew Mew and whatever else anyone else can think of. Maybe Ah, just for the streaming, like, just lowercase a. Is that, does, does Toby have anything to say about that? Is the name correct? We could be Ah. Ah. Oh, you know. <laughs> no, I already know. <laughs> I'm sorry, ahead of time. Again, another morally objectionable decision I'm making. Should we do it? Should we be Ness? Should we? Should I do it for the meme? I'm gonna... Uh, this is basically playing as Sans, which he didn't let me use the name. He did not let me use Sans, but he might let me use Ness. Uh, no, no, that's, that's just like a little too meme -y. I kind of want to take this playthrough a little seriously. Just a little bit. Like, Undertale is still a very funny game. Just go with Lar. You know what? It's the only advice I've gotten so far other than Sans, and they retracted that one because obviously. So 
Let's do it. Lar again. Boop. Oh. I do love that sound effect. This game has excellent sound design, but you don't need me to tell you that. Oh yeah, this is a fun thing you can do on any on any upward facing wall. You can't do this on downward facing walls. But if you're ever at near a wall, I guess I should probably say seizure warning ahead of time. Because I'm going to be doing that a lot. Howdy. I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Huh. Near the underground, aren't you? Must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how Yeah, I've never played this game before. Grooving. Yeah, we're grooving. Guess a little old me will just have to do. Ready? Here we go. Boop, boop, boop. Very culmination of your being. Look at me moving. Powerful. Why, love, of course. Want some love, don't you? I'll share some with you. Uh oh. Sus. Flowey sus. <laughs> oh no. Little white friendliness pellets. Never take a guy's white friendliness pellets if he asks them, if he asks to give it to you. Oh. Let's try again, okay? Oh. I'm dodging. Is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the bullets. Friendliness pellets. <laughs> no. I refuse, you dumb. You dumb boho. You dumb wilting boy. I don't know. I don't have good flower insults. You know what's going on here, don't you? You just wanted to see me suffer. Oh. I didn't want to see you suffer. I just didn't want to get hit. I'm sorry. Uh. Now I'll run into your friendliness pellets. Oh, never mind. I didn't even get a chance. Ow! I do like that. Ow. What a terrible creature torturing such a poor innocent youth. Don't be afraid. See, okay. Sometimes, like, dialogue like that makes me question, because I, I always thought she says, like, child. Like, is, is the dialogue slightly different when you, like, come back? I never can tell. Also, I always feel like her eyes are just barely purple, but only ever when I'm squinting. I don't know. I don't know. There's so many, like, little details about this game that always catch me just a little bit off guard. Pass through this pat place every day to see if anyone's fallen down. You're the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Toriel's so nice. I love her. She's very good. Game's a bit too quiet. Thank you for letting me know. Hold on. I'm gonna alt tab out. Can I boost the audio? What the hell? Uh, is that doing anything for anyone? Can you, can I get feedback on the game audio? Because wow, it is very quiet. Much better? Okay. I'll trust y'all. Okay, back to the game. Hello, Toriel. Oh. Shadow of the ruins looms above, telling you at the termination. HP fully restored. It's not like I needed fully restored anyways. Stick and bandage and zero gold. I'm set. That's my starting and final loadout. Innocent one. Allow me to educate you on the operation of the ruins. This is actually a kind of a cool looking puzzle, but she solves it for me. I must solve the room, 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 room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. But it's like. Only the fearless may proceed, brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. Like, that's cool. You don't walk the middle road, and then you press the button. That makes sense. It's a cute little mini puzzle, but man, stinky. Tori is my mom, I wish. I forgot to tell you, spent a good four hours and 20 minutes showing my friends no straight roads to start. To and I don't know what that game is, but that sounds fun. Make progress here. You will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry. I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. But what was the puzzle? Oh, proceed to read signs. That's amazing. I love that. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, man. Undertale's funny. I forgot. Press Z to read signs. I are, I mean, how else would I have read that? <laughs> stay on the path. Okay. That's the puzzle, is just stay on the path. Click. But I guess Tori already solved it for me. So 
splendid. Proud of you, little one. Let's move to the next room. Also, this water looks really nice. I never really appreciated how good that water looks for being very simple. It's the game I want to show that on my PS4. I don't know what that means. Oh, you need to be prepared for battle. All right. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. When you're in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time, and I'll come to resolve the conflict. Connect is talking to the dummy. Guess I'll try. Boop, boop. Oh man, what do I do? Oh, I can't. It's fair. The dummy stands around absentmindedly. Uh, check. A cotton heart and a button eye. You are the apple of my eye. That's cute. Uh, talk. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. <laughs> I'm back. Good to see you. Oh, the game you wanted to show me. I guess I'll check it out. Toriel seems happy with you. You won. Zero XP and zero gold. Very good. You're very good. You are very good. That's sweet. That puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it? I bet I can. Look at that cool... Look at this interesting floor layout. I wonder if that has any parallels on the opposite room. Oh! Froggit! Compliment. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyways. You look very lovely today. Bye, Froggy. Bye, Doggy! You won! Hooray. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. See, yeah, it's a cool little, little puzzle solve moment. It's a puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. Oh, I guess I don't, I don't get to solve the puzzle. Oh, well, that's okay. She, she solved the puzzle for me. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Goat Mom. Are doing pacifist or genocide? Uh, probably just the pacifist. I feel like just doing, like, a, a chump run, you know? I've played through this game a lot of times, but I've never beaten a genocide run because I'm very bad at fighting in this game. I'm only good at defending. I'm not good at hitting those, like, perfect timing hits. And I'm really bad at Undyne's fight, and obviously the secret fight at the end. I've done excellently this far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I'd like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Give me for this. Maybe I should beat up Toriel anyways, though, just in case, because, like, I mean, she has been tutorializing this whole segment. Nah, I probably won't hurt her. I don't want to hurt anybody, really. If I can evade it. If I can avoid it. I just like to show this game off, but I wanted to have a playthrough of it. Oh, also, yeah, flashing lights warning. Sorry. I should have put that at the beginning of the stream, but I'm going to be doing this a lot when I get the opportunity. She's, she's vibing. Don't worry about it. Don't worry, she's just hiding. How those big mama hips fit on- Okay, I'm not gonna finish that. <laughs> Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. Test your independence. You must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It is dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Alright, I'll just sit here and call her then. Let, let's call. Say, call her mom. <laughs> this is Toriel. Huh? Did you just call me mom? Well, I suppose. Does that make you happy? To call me mother? Well, then call me whatever you like. That's sweet. <laughs> Genocide is long and grindy, I know, I don't really feel like it. I may, it might end up being a neutral run, though, if I if I end up, like, fighting someone I didn't mean to or something, you know. It can happen, I've made mistakes before. Flirt. Huh? Oh, it's like, yeah, how those big mama hips fit behind the column. <laughs> I finally get to bring it back. Oh, ha, 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 how adorable. I could pinch your cheek. You could certainly find better than an old woman like me. Should I... Oh, I'm gonna keep flirting. Oh dear, are you serious? After you said you want to call me mother, you are an interesting child. Oh boy. Well, now she's got a bad opinion of me. About yourself. This is Toriel. You want to know more about me? Well, 
I am afraid there's not much to say. Just a silly little lady who worries too much. One more. Say hello. This is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello? Well then, hello. I hope that suffices. That's cute. Yeah, I'll probably just end up doing either a neutral or just a regular run. Oh, hello, this is Toriel. You've not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I've yet to explain. It's dangerous to try and solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Alright, I am doing the most morally objectionable thing possible in this run, though. Take one. <laughs> Take a piece of candy. Take one. Take a candy? Yes. You took more candy. How disgusting. <laughs> Take one. Take a candy? Yes. You take another piece. You feel like the scum of the earth. Take one. Take a candy? Yes. You took too much too fast, the candy spills onto the floor. Look at what you've done. <laughs> you monster. <laughs> I've knocked over the candy. How dare I. Playfully crinkling through the leaves, it fills you with determination. Ribbit, ribbit, excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If the monster does not want to fight you, please, use some mercy here. Ribbit, will do. Oh! Speaking of, Whimsome. Oh. You're already, you just gave up already. See ya. I wonder if I can console them, even if they don't want to fight already. Oh. Frog it. Threaten. Frog it didn't understand what you said, but was scared anyway. Aww. Sorry, Frog it. Whoa. The flies. Not the bees. Frog it seems reluctant to fight me. Peace out. I probably shouldn't threaten him. That was rude of me. Wonder if you'll get the gaster screen? That's what I'm kind of wondering too. Like, I wonder what my fun value is set to. It has to be set to 66, and I have to give the 10% chance of when I'm riding the boat guy, then I will get it. But I did, last time I played this game, I got one of Gaster's followers. I got the guy who's holding onto his own face and talking to it. And I didn't realize that that was one of the followers you could get in a playthrough, but I got him. It happened. So maybe it'll happen again. We'll see. I hope I joined to see Devil Tree. Good job, Lar. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a bit saucy, even if I am still kind. Which do you prefer, cinnamon or butterscotch? Uh, butterscotch. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Hello, this is Toro. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but did you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. I thought she was going to give me the dialogue like, I remember that you liked butterscotch, because she did that to me last time. Three out of four gray rocks. Recommend you push them. Ah! Oh, Whimson. Console. Halfway through your first word, Whimson bursts into tears and runs away. Aw. Well, see ya. I tried to help. I don't know. Feels bad, man. Oh, I messed it up. Forgot. Oh, I was just a little off. What do you say? Please don't step on the leaves. I'll try not to. Ah! Eek! Froggit and Wimson. Ooh. Uh, compliment. Didn't understand you, but was flattered anyways. Blushes deeply, Ribbit. Forgive me. Oh. Oh, this is it's kind of real. Whoopsie. Gotcha, both. That's okay. Oh, I got bits. Nathan needs me, so I gotta go have fun, everyone. Okay, have fun. I am gonna eat a monster candy. <laughs> you ate the monster candy. Very un licorice like. <laughs> Your HP is maxed out. I like un licorice like. I always end up never using any of my monster candy, so I figure if I take any damage, I'm just gonna fucking eat all of the monster candy. Didn't you read the sign downstairs? I'm sorry, I couldn't help stepping on these leaves. These leaves were in my way. Oh, three out of four rocks. Recommend you push them. All right. Oh, oh, 
Oh. Oh, I forget how good these two can be in a combo. Oh. Click. I think... Doesn't it only matter if this one moves? Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Alright, just for you, pumpkin. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Hmm? Um, that was the wrong direction? Okay, I think I got it. Thank you. Was that helpful? Oh, hello. Excuse me. Hmm? You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Okay, I think there's like a guaranteed encounter like right there. So I'm gonna walk around it. Ha! Oh! Whimson and Frog it. Compliment. I gotta get used to their Tombow attacks. Oh! Oh, I didn't know they home in. Oh! Get out of here. Get out of here! Get your bad selves home. Monster candy, done. Wait, okay, wait, 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 wait. This is the best sound in the game, like, easily. <laughs> squeak! I love this little squeak. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Knowing the mouse may someday leave and get the cheese fills you with determination. Hello. Hello, Blookie. This is like my, my spirit animal. Naps to Blook is so relatable, sadly. <laughs> they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? Yeah. Hey, Naps to Blook. Here comes Naps to Blook. Cheer. You give Naps to Blook a patient smile. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Rainy. Whoa. Mr. Blue looks just a little bit better. Cheer! You told Naps to look a little joke. What do a ghost say? Boo. I'm really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. <laughs> what did the ghost say? I have crippling depression. Cheer one more time. Mr. Blue wants to show you something. Let me try. Oh, I call it Dapper Blue. Look at his little hat! I do like it. It's very good. Absolute eagerly replaces your response. Cheer! Oh gee. Aw. Usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, now I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Red. Thanks, Luke. See you. Leave 7G in the web? Yep. Give me a donut. Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Good to know. Real spiders. I'm saving that for later. Just to not have to do a fight that I never do. Did you miss that? Spider bake sale down to the right. Now I got it. Come eat food made by spiders, for spiders, of spiders. Hey, wait a minute. Made of spiders? Okay, I know there's a secret in this room. Watch this, though. Oh, wait. I guess we're gonna combat. Uh, don't pick on. Hard read. Finally, someone understands. Hell yeah. We got the hard read. Sometimes he makes you pick on him, but that was one where you don't have to. Alright, watch this. Oh, wait. He didn't do it this time. Ribbit, ribbit. Her using F4 can make you have a full screen. What's F4? I only have seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. He thinks the F4 means four frogs! That's the whole joke. It's full circles. The stream is over. Thank you, everyone, for coming. That was the entire joke. I said F4 full screen, four frogs. Four frogs in this room. There's only three. That's the joke. Ribbit. Ribbit. I have heard you are quite merciful. For a human. Surely, by now, you know that monster wears yellow name when you spare it. What do you think of that? It's bad. Really? Then I'll tell all my friends to tell their friends' friends. Never use yellow names. How about that? Should I turn it You know what? Yeah. No more yellow names. I'll let them know not to use yellow names. I'm going to turn it off. That's going to be my challenge this run. Is I'm going to have to solve all the puzzles from memory. I'm not going to use yellow names to know when I need to spare them. So hell yeah, that's going to be the challenge. No yellow names. 
Hello? I just realized that it's been a while since I've cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There's probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Wait, 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 though. Oh! Another frog. Oh, not more frogs. My Joss and... Crawl the... And Mold Small. Mold Small, I'm pretty sure... Oh, wait. I thought Mold Small can just... Oh, right! Stereotypically curvaceously attractive, but no brains. Damn. Slime sound. Right, I turned off yellow names. I immediately forgot that that is the thing I was doing. I can just go... Ruminate. Swing your arms from side to side. Hell yeah. My other self doesn't have a cure in the world. I'm gonna eat the monster candy. Cha cha cha. I like that he's happy once everyone else leaves. It's fair. He's an introvert. He doesn't do well with other people. Wait. Zoop! Oh, did you see that? Oh, did you? Did, who was right here? <gasps> did you see that out of the corner of your eye? Oh. Ah! Um, okay. This one's an easy fight. Just be you! Yeah! You just be you, my Jossop. My- my Joss? Wait, it might be my Joss. I forget. Oh man, I'm down to one viewer already? Damn. That dropped off fast. I had like four or five for a second. That's okay. That's fine. People got places to be. Oh, uh... This is basically just for Reese's benefit. You can- I don't think she's got to play this game yet, even though she really likes it. So she'll be able to watch it in the background and also watch if she wants to see me play through the game. There's just one switch. Good to know. Isn't it? Like, I always forget. It's like middle bottom, I think. Right, this one's easy. Why did I just- <laughs> I keep forgetting this exact same fight, but it's the same every time. Oh, what? Oh, hello. I fell down a hole. I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. Hooray. Right. Whoops. I, I swear... Last time it was middle bottom, not middle top. But maybe I'm just stupid and misremembered? Oh! Well... I fell again. I'm stupid. I kinda wanna fight Mr. Beta Carantine, but I might find him anyways. Than like dancing. Okay, there we go. Sorry if I sorry if I mash through some of these fights. I just kind of want to get to the more exciting ones. Let's go visit Mr. Carrot though. Wow! Oh, just in case, Vegetoid came out of the earth. Dinner. Pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. Hell yeah. Vegetoid's here for your health. There we go. Vegetoid wants to feed you your vegetables, so remember to eat your veggies, kids. Alright. Dancing. Dancing. We're dancing. I just thought doesn't have a care in the world. That's a lot of gold for this room. Alright, we gotta remember. The far door is not an exit, it simply marks a rotation in perspective. Right, right, okay, so I gotta remember. Oh. There we go. Yeah, rotation and perspective. It's just gonna be. Yeah, and then the blue switch, right? Read this, press the blue switch, right. Switch, press it. You hear a clicking sound. Yeah! Ah! Swing your arms from side to side. Come on, it's time to go do the Mario. It's Undyne. You can read this. Press the red switch. It's a switch. Whoa! Oh, wait. Right. I don't need to fight. Uh, hard read. Don't pick on. Finally, someone understands! Yo, we got him! That's it. Nope. Oh. 
what do you want me to find? You read this? Press the green switch. This one, right? I think. Whoa, looks and company decided to pick on you. Uh, don't pick on. Finally, someone understands. Legion, we are Legion. Oh boy. Oh boy, there's a lot. Looks is gazing at you. Uh, let's do dinner. At your stomach, Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Oh, green. Oh, and now the double spare, and then cha cha cha. That's it. That's it, baby. Spare. And then it's just this one. You hear a clicking sound. Yeah, we did it. All combat. Should I get the toy knife? I want the toy knife. I'm gonna hold on to the stick anyways, though, just for dogfight. Ribbit, ribbit. Just between you and me. I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. That's your own fault, man. Little knife. On the toy knife. Look at... This place is cool. I forgot this artwork sometimes. Like, you know, you don't play a game for a while, and then you come back to it, and you're like, wow, that's really pretty and beautiful. I don't know, I love that. Just has like a certain like simple majesty to it. The game's art is very simplistic, but its sprite work is excellent, I find. Some people will, will argue that it's not the case, and they're valid. And they're wrong, but they're valid. You can, you can have that opinion. I feel like the biggest way you know someone's like a shitter about Undertale is if they say that the music is bad. That's like the biggest, like, haha, look at how edgy I am and how my opinion is different from everyone else's. And it's like, yeah, you sure do hate good music. I should not have left you alone for so long. She was impressed that I did not have a scratch. You're responsible to try and surprise you like this. Er, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. I am the small one. It's me. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Home. You smell that? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here, so I will hold off on the snail pie for tonight. <laughs> here, I have another surprise for you. This is it. I kind of want to just, like, do your own. I hope you like it. Can I just, like immediately try and bail on her. Something burning? Make yourself at home. We first, we gotta do the mirror. It's you! It's me! Room under renovations? Yeah. Seeds and broken crayons. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage? Yes. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. Yeah. Just a regular old bucket of snails. <laughs> I forgot that joke. Of snails. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha. A group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Known more commonly as water sausages. I do love my water sausages. Peek inside. Scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. Definitely bigger than a twin size bed. She's definitely bigger than a twin size person. Oh! It's a water sausage. Typha. The water sausage. talking to this plant. Water sausage. I don't want to say no to her room. Turn off the light. A box of kids' shoes. Of a disparity of sizes. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. <laughs> I like that one. Bonk. Seepy. Hungry. Found a slice of pie. Bloop. For me. Alright, I'm gonna try and leave. 
scootin'. Oh, I think you should play upstairs instead. <laughs> it's dangerous to play here. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah. It's drafty here. You'll catch a cold. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's dusty here. You'll catch a cough. <laughs> she can't stop me. I'm gonna break out. There's nothing to see here. Oh, that makes me nervous. Skeleton in your closet much? Do you want to read a book? Mm, I do want to read a book, but I'm more interested in going this way. I do not like the game you're playing. I'm sorry. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta get out of here. Why not go for a walk in the yard? But, but over here. Really now? Okay, she isn't done with me. Sorry, Tori. I feel bad for- uh, see, this is what I was talking about though, I'm gonna keep saying it. I'm gonna pick some- I'm gonna do some morally objectionable things, I believe. Just like, doing that. Where I wanna like- I wanna exhaust some character dialogue sometimes, you know? This tells like a sad story. Baby chair. Mama chair. Dad a chair. history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked, until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our new king is, he's pretty lousy at names. <laughs> yeah! Asgore's not great at names. That's why he named his own kid Asriel. <laughs> he's not great at them. Exhausting dialogue is the best? Great. At least we got someone on board. The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. But they're pokers. They're cocktail weenie pokers. The fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You can put your hand inside. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There's so many old books I want to share. I'm gonna show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, or perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, do you want something? What is it? When can I go home? What? This is this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Mm, sure. Here's an exciting snail fact. Do you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Interesting. Yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything else. I'm gonna go look in her kitchen first. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Same. Stovetop is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Oh, yummy. I wonder if someone else would have had dialogue about that if I was doing a different route of the game right now. Haha, <laughs> where's the chocolate? Haha. Uh -huh. Alright. How to exit the ruins. How do I get out of here? I have to do something. Stay here. No way, I want to come with. Oh. Wow, she's fast. Lightning speed. Just cartoonishly like leaves a little cloud of dust that perfectly is shaped like her portrait. Just just leaves a little like poof of Toriel. You should know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. One way exit and the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. So I feel like now's a good time to breach the subject that Undertale has kind of an insane fan base. Like, I love this game a lot. It's really good. But I recently watched the this this excellent video by Super Eye Patch Wolf, where he kind of explains all the uh, the nonsense with the fan base of this game, where there's like 80 
quintillion oh. AUs, and every AU can like cross over with all the other AUs. And some of the fan bases like put needle in other people's cookies when they drew a character that they didn't like or something. It's like this game kind of inspired a lot of things, and it makes me understand a little bit better why Toby Fox doesn't like all the attention he gets from this game, since he's the creator. And I, I don't know. That makes it makes more sense to me now. Uh, it's kind of insane that this game has blown up as much as it has, because it is very good, don't get me wrong. And it did deserve the popularity it got, but holy shit. The fan base that has resulted from this game is kind of ridiculous. And I just feel like I should uh, uh, talk about that a little bit. Like, I don't really hate any of the people, like, people ought to be creative and stuff, but like, don't harass people over something you're this passionate about. I also kind of want to make a video about uh, Sans, Sephiroth, and the uh, a power of like emotional characters, like characters that leave an emotional impact on players in video games and media, because uh, people have often told me that uh, um, you know that Sephiroth and Sans are very uh, are very similar in the ways that they are characters that had a big impact on the people. That, uh, that they, they, ooh, I can't focus and talk at the, focus and fight at the same time. Ooh. Ah, oh, stupid. Yeah, um, basically characters that have big emotional impacts on players in video games, and why they become memes on the internet, because they like, oh, you know, they have this huge impact on all these players, but then when you go out and you explain why you think this character is so cool, people are like, that sounds really lame. Why are you, like, <laughs> love means level of violence? That's so silly. And you're like, but it, it meant so much to me. This game was really cool. And then you get kids getting made fun of on the internet for pretending to be Sans. Rightfully so, honestly. But because uh, more than anything else, just because it, he has such a big impact on this game, and when people, like, see that they freak out they're like whoa uh you know like wow this this had a big impact on, on how i played this game and how i perceive video games now and uh that honestly is is kind of like cherishable and i, I like that but when you go out and you explain to someone who has no experience with that game how cool that experience is they're gonna think you're kind of ridiculous and silly for thinking that it's that meaningful of a thing which I think is an interesting uh, parallel to draw between two characters who had big emotional influences on the... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, but yeah, you know, characters that have these big emotional impacts on player bases. I just feel like it's important to uh, discuss that. And I don't know, I wanted to try and make a video like that at some point. Maybe for the, the main channel, when I eventually make that main Hyper Hair channel. That's the goal, anyways. I want to, like, do some discussion videos, too. I don't want to just do, like, stream highlights. I feel like that'll be important. At least a little bit. Not really important, but, you know, it'll be fun for me to work on something big like that. And then maybe I'll start doing, like, weekly YouTube videos. I don't know. That'd be really cool. But it depends on how well I can actually, like make a YouTube video. I've never really done it before. How long I will take good care of you here? No, we don't have much, but yeah, everyone knows how this fight goes. I feel like, uh, it's really sweet and meaningful, but I also want to, like, please, go upstairs. I don't have any... I don't have any more items to heal myself. Uh-huh. Pathetic, is it not? Not save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Uh, soft. I think one of the games that was most emotional for Night in the Woods. Good game, good story, good tears. Yeah, again, like, stuff like that. 
But uh, honestly, I don't know with Night in the Woods because it's easier to explain emotional characters in that game when they're like the POV character. But like characters that antagonize you, like Sans and Sephiroth, they are emotionally impactful in a way that's different where you're like, wow, that character's so cool, even if the original creator didn't intend for them to be cool. Maybe I could also pull in like the idea of like the Watchmen's Mr. Fuckfin, whatever. So I can never remember any of the Watchmen characters' name other than Dr. Manhattan. But uh, like characters in media that have these big emotional impacts on their fan bases, but then kind of weren't intended to be taken this seriously. And when you explain them to other people, they just make fun of you, basically. And sometimes, rightfully so, it is a very nerdy thing to like. But, you know, it means, I, I, because it means so much to people, I feel like it's worth discussing. And maybe I'll, I will bring up Night in the Woods in some way. Maybe I'll talk about, like, the villains in that game somehow. I'd love to wrap it around, but I wanted to call the video something like Sans, Sephiroth, and Emotional Characters in Media. And, like, just a discussion video about that. I don't know. I'll have to write up a good script for it, though, before I do anything. But now I have a good microphone, so who knows? Maybe I'll record the audio for it eventually. Very clever. Think you're really smart, don't ya? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you're able to play by your own rules. You spare the life of a single person. <laughs> Bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die, until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration, or will you give up entirely, entirely on this world? Let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. <laughs> Laughing. I see what you're getting at. I definitely watched that video, though, right? I feel like it would be engaging. I, I like videos in the vein of, like, H Bomber Guy and Philosophy Tube and ContraPoints, where they, like, pick a topic and they go into a deep dive. My favorite of lately has been Curio. Curio is incredible, and I just love them so much. Their, their channel is just amazing. So you should definitely check it out. They do a lot of deep dives in the same vein of the way I would like to do, where they pick, like, a game or they pick a piece of media and then they just talk about it. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. And they don't just talk about it, but they kind of explain why it's meaningful or how it was meaningful to them or maybe how it affected the culture at large. I don't know. That's kind of what I'd love to do. Oh, a stick. I'll walk around it. <gasps> Gasp! Oh! Ah! Oh! Eek! Ah! Ah! Oh! Who was that? Who? 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 What? Where? Oh. Anxiety Road. Uh, uh. Oh, footsteps. Oh, footsteps. With parents, so I have no audio. I swear to God, if you killed my goat mom, I didn't. I didn't kill goat mom. Someone tell her in chat. I know I only have like one viewer right now, but someone tell her. I also feel like I should play off. Like, I'm obligated to. It's in the same vein of this game. <gasps> it was a fart! Oh, he pooted! <laughs> the old woman cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans is skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now, my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Yeah, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thing. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Zoop! Click behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Oh, shing! Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother! I love Papyrus, he's my favorite. I love the voice. Goat Mom is safe, don't worry, yeah, we're clearing it up with Reese. It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. 
What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend? I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sands, you are not helping, you lazy bone. All you do is sit and boondog. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Grimshaw. Bottom. Chum, chum. Sands! Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. <laughs> That's my favorite. I am and I hate it. People use that meme on Tumblr for like, oh, <laughs> despite everything, you're still on Tumblr. I am and I hate it. Why does someone as great as me do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're, having, you're working, really working yourself down to the bone. But I'm... Ugh. I will attend my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. Nyeh! <laughs> Nyeh! I was waiting for it. Okay, you can come out now. Thanks, Sans. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, he'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Actually, hey, hate to bother you. Can you do me a favor? I was thinking. My brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before. I love that he talks directly at the camera. I don't really, I have never really paid attention to that before. He's not looking at Frisk right now. He's looking directly at me. Seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. A good song. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. That lamp really was convenient. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Yeah. All that's attached to it is the end of a... <laughs> to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. You decide not to call. Fair enough. Use the box. Gonna put that away, that away, take that out. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. Same box will appear later, so don't worry about <laughs> about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. A boxer. <laughs> you equip the tough glove. I never even used the knife. Da -da -do. We'll sell it to Temmie later. So, as I was saying about Undyne. Laria Papyrus voice is hilarious. I love it. Thank you. I like I like doing silly voices like Skeletor. I'm gonna do voices for as many characters as I can. Reese wants me to do voice acting, but I'm really bad. Or I'm not good enough, I don't think, but I'm gonna keep trying. Sans, oh my god, is that a human? I'm kinda hamming it up now because I was I got my ego stroked. I need to reel it back. Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! I'm dying, Will. I'm gonna... I'll be so popular, popular, popular! Ahem. Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the great papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then, I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue only if you dare. <laughs> well, that went well. Full sweaty, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Sands. Oh! Snow Drake. Uh. Heckle or jer I forget. You make a bad ice pun. Ha, huh, ha, huh, nice try. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Ow! Oh, that was hard to get around, actually. If your name is a pun, it started freaking out. I'll just check and let it make a joke. 
This teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Better not snowflake out. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. I'm gonna laugh at the joke, even though it's bad. You laugh at Snow Drake's pun. See? Laughs! Dad was wrong! Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. You're so funny, Snow Drake. See you later. Oh, I gotta read the box. There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you wonder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. Note, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. Damn. Uh, I hope you play for a while longer. I want to watch The Office. Okay, Reese. Everyone's kind of busy, but that's okay. I started late today. Oh, it's the dog. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. Something was moving, for example. A human. I'll make sure it never moves again. <sighs> I like Doggo. Doggo and Ice Wolf are two of the best designed characters in this game. Changed my mind. Pet. Doggo's too suspicious of your movements. Don't move an inch. Whoa! Whoa. Doggo can't seem to find anything. Let's wait another turn. He's excited by movement. Hobbies include squirrels. <laughs> Hobbies include squirrels. Oh! Boop. Doggo can't seem to find anything. And finally, pet! You pet Doggo. What? I've been pet! This is Ian when I pet him. Oh no. Ian freaking out. Pet, pat, pot, pit, pat, pit, pat, pot. Pet, pat, pot. Pet him again. You pet doggo. Where's that coming from? Pet, pat, pot, pit, pat, pot, pit, pet, pot, pet. Doggo has been pet. You pet doggo again. There's no end to it. Pet, pot, pet, pat, pup, pet, 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 pat, pot, pet. Pet, pat, pot, pet, pup. Pet. You pet doggo. Well, this is thorough. Pot, pet, pat, pot, pet, pat, pot, pet, pet. Pet. You pet doggo. Okay, that's enough. It's had enough. But what if I pet him one more time? You pet doggo. Okay, that's enough. Okay, oh, he's done. He's tired of the pets. Doggo has been pet. It's fair. Very thoroughly pet. Something pet me. Something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Ding, ding. Hello? Is anybody there? No? Alright, see ya. Someone's been smoking dog treats. Hmm. Me and Reese when we have cigars. <laughs> They're smoked dog treats. This, the, the, these are the jokes, people. You gotta be laughing. <laughs> yeah, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see blue attack, don't move. It won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. <laughs> and it's yellow! <laughs> I like it. Oh. North, ice, south, ice, west, ice, east, snowtown. And ice. At least we got a lot of ice. Hello, I'm a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please. Take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Yes. Thank you. Good luck. Got the snowman piece. I'll hold on to that piece of snowman. Gotta take him elsewhere. Reservoir here to watch the stream for eight minutes before I go to bed. Hell yeah. You are so lazy. You are napping all night. I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses. <gasps> oh ho, the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. <laughs> For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Oh. Bonk. Sans! What did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. It's very careful to not touch the walls. Hold this, please. 
Will do. Boop. Okay, try now. Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother, Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? He made that a few weeks ago from a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. Keep calling it his battle body. Man, is my brother cool? That's sweet. He's nice to his brother. Oh, this is my favorite. I say this all the time when I get iced coffee when it's cold out. I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. <laughs> Every time I get iced or blended coffee, I just say, it's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, the customer. Hello, would you like some ice, ice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now it is 15G. Here you go. I have a super duper day. Got an ice cream. I'm gonna get it. another one. I have a super duper day. I uh, still kind of think uh, there's a cute ship in the fandom, at least the base fandom, not the, like the AU fandoms, where you ship this guy, the nice cream guy with the burger pants guy. And I like that. That's a good ship. They're cute together. They're just stupid boys, and I like that. I've been thinking about selling treats, too. Want some fried snow? It's just 5G. Yeah. Did I say 5G? I meant 50G. Really? Uh, how about 5,000G? 50,000G is my final offer. What? You don't have the money. Hey, that's okay. I don't have any snow. I used to hate coloring books as a kid, but I I got an adult coloring book and now I'm addicted. That was kind of me too, honestly. I was never big into coloring, but now as an adult, I love it. His. Hers. But I don't need an adult coloring book because I have commissions. <laughs> and that's all my coloring. Smell danger rating. Snow smell. Snowman. White rating. Can become yellow rating. <laughs> Unsuspicious smell. Puppy. Blue rating. Smell of rolling around. Weird smell. Humans. Green rating. Destroy at all costs. I like the green written in red. These dogs are very smart. Alright, we gotta kick this snowball perfectly. Bonk. No, wait. We have to hit it in time. No, okay, wait. I'm, can, I, can I reset the snowball? I forget. Yes, okay. We gotta hit this. We gotta do the perfect golf game. No. No. Oh god. No, wait, I'm missing it up. Frick. Oh, all right. Now, hold on. I got to get like the angle down shot, you know? I you got to angle your movements. It's so hard. I'm B reversing in Smash Brothers. It's so hard. Oh no. Uh, no. The snow Kick it. Kick it. Kick it. Kick it. No! Yes. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Uh. Bonk. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, that counted. Ah. Uh, Oh, I got purple like I always do. Even when you felt trapped, you took notes and achieved the end of ball. You were awarded two gold. Alright, well, did my best. Looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow decahedron. Ha <laughs> ha! That's the joke. Human, I hope you're ready for... Huh? Sans, where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. I do love the top option. G.S. Kuflip Rabber. I found the top one. Hey kids, can you help me solve this puzzle? Summer, does anyone- I see Cigar and Sig. <laughs> Where's Skeletons? Oh, there it is. It's backwards. Skeletons. 
Wow, this is a tough one. Can anyone see my cursor? I don't remember if anyone can see my cursor. There's monster, there's skeletons, there, there's cigar, there's sig, there's G. Screwed up and Uh, uh, I don't see hot. I don't see summer. I see two M's here. Wow, this is a hard word search. Sorry, icy. Gonna have to give up on your word search. Sans! That didn't do anything! <laughs> Sorry, I saw Sans and I couldn't read properly and not, and not my papyrus voice. Whoops! I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, chewing your jumble is easily the hardest. What? Really? Dude, that's easy peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones. Unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Which is harder? Jumble, crossword. Uh. Crossword. You two are weird. Crosswords are easy. It's just the same solution every time. Just fill all the boxes in with the letter Z. Because every time I look at a crossword, all I can do is snore. <laughs> Pirates. Finds difficulty in interesting places. Yesterday he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. My poor boy. It's a note from Papyrus. Yo, man, please enjoy this spaghetti. Little do you know, the spaghetti is a trap. Oh, I must go. Okay, bye, reservoir. Designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize you're, you aren't progressing. Thoroughly japed again by the great Papyrus. I love the word japed. That's so good to me. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. Damn. Knowing the mouse may one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti, fills you with determination. Man, though. I do love the thoroughly japed again. Also, wait. Beep, 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 beep. It's an unplugged microwave. All the settings say spaghetti. Hell yeah. Spaghetti microwave. All oh, right. Wait, we gotta find Jerry here, right? <gasps> Lesser dog! Oh, look at all these pet options. Pet, you barely lifted your hand and Lesser dog got excited. You know what we gotta do. Oh, wait, I thought he jumps. Lesser dog is barking excitedly. Barely touched the dog. It's already overexcited. <laughs> oh. Whoa. The dog is barking excitedly. Pet. You pet the dog. Raises the head up to meet your hand. <laughs> Whoa. What's your dog is barking excitedly? Let's check him. Attack 12, fence 2. Wheels a stone dogger made of palmer granite. Palmer granite. That's. Pa 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 palm Pomeranian. Haha. <laughs> beep beep. Oh, pop. Happy. Lesser dog is barking excitedly. Pet. It was a good dog. Oh my god, it was a good dog. Oh! That was cheating. Lesser dog is overstimulated. Pet. Pet the dog. Its excitement knows no bounds. Excited noises. Oh, cheater. Simulated. Pet. Critical pet. Dog excitement increased. Excited noises. So dog is overstimulated. Pet. You have to jump up to pet the dog. Motor revving. <laughs> you don't even pet it. it. Just gets more excited. <laughs> Plane taking off sounds. As a dog sounds. <laughs> there is no way to stop this madness. Kettle whistle. As a dog shows no signs of stopping. The dog enters the realm of the clouds. Lesser dog. Pet. You call the dog, but it is too late. It cannot hear you. Far away bark. <laughs> Distant barking. Lesser dog shows no signs of stopping. Oh. Look at the tail going. Look at the tail. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Very excited. You can reach lesser dog again. You pet Lesser Dog. <laughs> lesser Dog is lowering. 
You pet lesser dog. <laughs> lesser dog is lowering. Pet lesser dog. <laughs> pet lesser dog. We're gonna keep doing this for a while. We we're, we're gotta pet the dog. Can you pet the dog? So important. Oh, look at- oh, I love the face. It is possible that you may have a problem. <laughs> look at the face and the white bubble! That's your dog is lowering. It is possible that you may have a problem. It's possible that you may have a problem. Yeah, I understand. You can keep telling me that, but I'm gonna keep petting this dog. I just like petting dogs. Sorry. Dog pet is very good. Oh wow, here he come. Lar petting me. <laughs> there is much to pet. It's true. Mm -hmm. It's possible you may have a problem. I gotta pet the dog. It's so important. Pet the pupper. It's possible that you may have a problem. It's possible you may have a problem. Probably. It's possible you may have a problem. Okay. Wait, we're getting to the best part though. Because dog is about to become sad again. Watch this. This is very good. This is very high quality stuff. It's, oh, puppy's eyes. Lesser dog is learning to read. Look at the eyes on the box. Lesser dog is unpettable but appreciates the attempt. Aww. Lesser dog is learning to read. The dog is unpatable but appreciates the attempt. Oh. It's whining because it can't see you! It's Reese. Lesser dog is whining because it can't see you. Oh, puppy. The dog is unpatable. Baby. We are about to get to the best one. This poor baby is whining because they can't see you. Unpettable. Unpettable. But wait. Unpettable. We're getting there. We, you know what's about to happen. It's my favorite dialogue in the whole game. That's her dog is unpettable, but appreciates the attempt. Oh, here they come. Once the dog is whining because it can't see you, but not for long. <gasps> the dog is unpetable, but appreciates the attempt. Hello there. <laughs> Look at the little baby, just peeking out, just ready to see, just like looking. Hello there. Hello, puppy. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Ultimate good morning. Literally same. Small peek. Yeah. Pet. Perhaps mankind was not meant to pet this much. <laughs> Hello there. Hello, puppy. Good morning. Continues. Hello there. It continues. Perhaps mankind was not meant to pet this much. We gotta get to the final line of dialogue. You know it's gotta happen. Lesser dog is questioning your choices. It continues. Lesser dog is questioning my choices. It continues. We're getting there. Lesser dog. Nope. Lesser dog is questioning your choices. It continues. Lesser dog has gone where no dog has gone before. That is the ultimate lesser dog moment. Lesser dog has gone where no dog. Lesser dog is beyond your reach. Time. Really? Yep, that's it. He is beyond my reach. Lesser dog has gone where no dog has gone before. Stay. Thanks, puppy. Good morning. There's a switch hidden in the snow. Click. Switch is stuck now. Alright, we gotta wander around here though because this is the only place where we can encounter the forbidden one. The only one. Who truly matters. Gerald. Geraldine. You know, we, we gotta find him. Isn't he, he like right here? I forget. I remember he's got like a required encounter somewhere around here. Gerald, where are you? Now 
he's like he's before yo here we met maybe maybe yes ice cap and snow drake in front of you sighing jerry compliment from ice cap that has a great hat duh who does kiss hot chill out whoa cool whoa dangerous whoa Snow Drake realizes its own name is a pun and starts freaking out. <laughs> Laugh. How's it Snow Drake's pun? Kasai. Oh. I'm thinking, guys. I'm thinking, guys. He's thinking, guys. Oh, ow. Ooh, Jerry tells everyone it has to go to the bathroom. Yeah, I'm using an ice cream. This is this as sweet as you? You recovered 15 HP. That's so sweet. Thank you, guys. Oh, I gotta go through all of Ice Cap's dialogue, I feel like. Or no, wait, we gotta we can bail on Jerry, right? Jerry lets out a yawn. Ditch. You and the other monsters ditch Jerry when it looks away. Where's your hat? There you go. Sorry, Jerry. Other monsters celebrate Jerry's disappearance. Now I gotta ignore. And it should tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. Looks annoyed. Hello, my hat's up here. My hat's up here. He's hoping you're secretly looking. And theft! Try to steal Ice Cap's hat. But it's not weakened enough, damn. Help, fashion police! Guys, it's cold, and does anyone care? No, Jerry's back. Return of Jerry. <laughs> Ditch. And he looks away. Where's your hat? Oh, this is a not the best spot. The return of Jerry. I didn't know he could return. Seems defeated. I'll ignore you too. Boop. Give a desperate for my attention. Stoop! You steal Ice Cap's hat and succeed! It melts in your hands. What can I say? You guys suck at this. Jerry, come on. Get out of here. What can I say? I'm gonna compliment Ice. You inform Ice Cap that it still looks fine. I wanted you to see me as cool. Ice doesn't mind its identity. Here we go. It's fair. We finally found a solution for Jerry and others. Fuck you. Should I- uh, I should have killed Jerry, honestly. <laughs> this is gonna be a neutral run. I could have just bonked Jerry. Oh, wait. I didn't heal. Oh, well. I'll be okay. Dogami and Dogaressa. I won't die. It's a smell. Where's that smell? Your smell. Identify your smell. Oh. Hmm. Here's that weird smell. Makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you! <gasps> Doggy assault you. Aw. Roll around. You roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Let's kick human tail. Do humans have tails? Oh. 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 The dogs may want to re-smell you. Re-sniff. The dogs sniff you again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell all right. What? It smells like a... Are you actually a little puppy? Okay. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Uh, I'm eating my other nice cream. What a wonderful day. Don't touch my hot dog. He means me. That's cute. That's us. It's me and Reese. Don't touch my hot dog. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. I've seen that you might be a lost puppy. And Dogaressa, pet. You pet Dogaressa. A doll that pets dogs? Amazing! What about me? Oh, sorry, dog of me. I'll pet you next. Oh. Dogs keep shifting their axes to protect each other. Aw, that's cute too. Dog of me, pet. Well, don't leave me out. How? Pet by another pup. Whoa! Whoa! The dog's minds have been expanded. See ya. Got him. It's us. It is us. 
I'm here and can hear you. Should have brutally murdered Jerry. <laughs> True. Dogs can pet other dogs. A new world has opened up for us. Thanks, weird puppy. You're welcome, weird big dogs. Oh no. What? How did you avoid my trap? More importantly, is there any left for me? A new type of fire spider spaghetti. Ate it. Really? Wowie! No one's ever enjoyed my cooking before. Well then, fret not, human eye, Master Chef Papyrus. We'll make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> yeah. Gotta do this. Click. I think I want to sh I want to, to to solve the vaguely papyrus shaped lump. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. Yeah. <laughs> Me at my roommates. Game sound is very loud. Oh boy. I heard it was too quiet earlier. I'll turn it down a little bit. Oh. Oh. Here. How's that? Is that better? Oh, Lou is here, too. Lou is work in the morning. Suppose it's kind of loud? Hello, Lou. I didn't know I had three viewers. My phone says I have one. Uh, but yes. Papyrus has arranged the snow into his face. Human? How do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I just decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Fortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. Suppose what I'm saying is, worry not, human. I, the great papyrus, will solve this conundrum. And we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. We could just press the button in the tree. I do know about the button in the tree. I just want to clear that up because I know someone, some smart guy in the chat will be like, oh wait. Did you know that you could just press the button that's in the tree? It's way easier than actually solving the puzzle. And it's like, yeah, but that's no fun, guy. That's no fun, guy. Easy. Game easy. And you did it all without my help. Incredible, I'm impressed. You must care about puzzles like I do. And I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle, then. It might even be too easy for you. <laughs> I do like puzzles, Papyrus. Thank you. Your puzzles are quite fun. Oh, hello. Good job on solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help. Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. Good job, Sans. Yeah, okay, let's go see the switch in the tree. So that I can prove I know about it. There's a switch on the trunk of this tree. Press it? Yeah. It didn't really matter, because I already solved the puzzle. Skeletor baby. That's him, yeah. He's my Skeletor baby. Alright, so I'm gonna pick the mean option for this one. I'm very sorry. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the random solution to this puzzle just ends up being really easy, but there's a really mean way to solve this puzzle, I'm gonna do that one. It's the human. You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through them if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles, they don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How was that? Understandable? Understand the explanation? No. Please repeat it. Okay, I guess I'll repeat myself. Red tiles are impassable. Yellow tiles are electric and dangerous. Blue tiles make you bite a monster. Green tiles are water tiles. Orange tiles are orange scent. If you step on an orange, don't step on green. Brown tiles are... Wait, there are no brown tiles. Purple tiles smell like lemons. Why don't the yellow ones smell lemony? Um, wait, did I mix up green and blue? The blue ones are the water ones. Pink tiles... I don't... Remember? Wait, 
those ones don't do anything. Okay, do you understand better now? Uh, even less. <laughs> okay, you know what? How about you just do this puzzle on your own? I'll leave the instructions. Just read them. Whenever you understand it, you can throw the switch. And do it at your own pace. Good luck. Yeah. 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 This, this is the nicer way, honestly, actually, because the other one just leaves him so disappointed when he sees that it's just pink across the middle and then red on both sides. It's a legible chicken scratch. The machine isn't working. Oh, sad. I wanted to I wanted to throw the switch. I wanted to play. Actually, spaghetti from earlier wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll even make something edible. That's crazy. Oh, our work is being rewarded. It's the broken head of a snow dog. Seems like the base of a snow dog. The base of a snow dog? No, I'm not making that joke. The broken head of a snow dog. Look at all these. I love this one especially. The stupid head. Aware of dog. Please pet dog. This is me at Reese. Modern art. <laughs> yeah. This is modern art. Please pet dog. Aware of dog. On the floor inside is a box of Pomeraisins. That's my, she's my Pomeraisin. Pomeraisian. Knowing that dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog. Kills you with determination. I do love these dogs. The dog just rushed in here. Filled with inspiration. Kept trying to build the snow dog that expressed its own emotions. But as it built, it kept getting more excited about the sculpture. Its neck got longer and longer, and it added more and more snow, until it was rather sad to watch. But I couldn't turn away. <laughs> this person insults the dog usually, where it's like, oh, the dog will never make a good snow dog. But this one, this time, the snow dog just went crazy and made a bunch of them. Which is great. Very talented baby. Uh. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go read this first because I know I'm not gonna fall down here. It's a snow papyrus. It's a lump of snow with the word sans written on it in red marker. Good job, sans. I do like the snow papyrus. He did a very good job. Snow pappy. Please, please, please pet me. Aware of dog. Please pet dog. Oh my god. I have become aware of this dog. I must pet her. Watch this. Perfectly solved puzzle, first try, no problems, never make a mistake, lar, puzzle solving rate 100%, easy every time. Ultimate gamer. What am I gonna get on my head? What's gonna be on my head? Uh, just a snow paw. That's a shame. Sometimes it's a hat, sometimes it's a bird. In fact, let's see if we can get one of those. Mm. Hat. Yeah. And do we get the bird finally? Hat. No, we want to get the bird. I want the bird. Hat. I want the bird. Give me the bird. I want to see it. Poff. Oh. Show me the snowbird. Give me. Give me the snowbird. Give me the bird. A house? <laughs> I've never even seen that one. Give me the bird. I... <laughs> give me the bird. Oh, there it is. Okay, I was gonna say, if it didn't do that, I was gonna say, no, I don't want that. What's up? Hello. Say, are you following me? Ah! Why are you so cute? I vote for bird. Hell yeah, bird is here. Gift trot. Undecorate. You move a childhood photograph of Snowdrake and his parent. That's a little better. Oh, you're still gonna attack me though? Oh, you're crying. I see. Ow. Still did damage though. Slightly less irritated. Undecorate. You move a small, confused dog. Ha! <laughs> That's a little better. Oh. Oh, oh. What? I don't know what I was- I, I know that one was probably good, but I don't know what I could have done. Undecorate. You move the barbed wire made of pipe cleaners. The weight has been lifted. Gift Roth's problems have been taken away. Gift. 
gift. 35 gold, because you can't think of an appropriate gift. Aw, oh, you shouldn't have. Just wanted to give something nice. Tech 16, defense 8. Some teens decorated it as a prank. Thanks. Spare. Zero gold. You gave all my gold to him to win. I'm sorry, Sans. Gift Trot is happy. Ooh, I forgot about this place. This is like the post-game place, right? You have to like beat the end credits in order for this place to exist. It's a door. Boo. I vote for birds still. I got bird. I like the mushrooms. I love the squeaky mushrooms. Also, look at these people. I want to watch these people. Watch them come out of their house and do a thing. I always, I always stop to stare at these people for a sec. Little person walks back, walks forth, and then goes back home. I don't know why they do that. I guess they wanted to go for a walk. Watch them do. Exactly. Just watch them do be. They are just doing. What's up? <laughs> I do love to say, are you following me? It's a snow pop. And this is a snow pop. This, however, is a snow pop. Surprisingly, it's a snow pop. Snow pop. Is it really a snow pop? Behold, the snow pop. What's this called again? There's 30G inside this. What is this? It's a snow pop. And this. I do love, if we do this all the way through, snow pop. Is it really a snow pop? Behold, a snow pop. And then finally, what's this called? <laughs> what's this called again? What a tiny dog house. Woof. Oh my god, it's Reese's. Woof. Just single woof. <laughs> Shrooms. OMG lizard Lou sunbathing on a mushroom. That's cute. Mushrooms make the same sound as Lou. That's adorable. Squeak. Little nose. I do love that sound. That's the best sound in this game. Okay, let's... What? What? What health? I'm bad, bad health. I've been taking a lot of damage this run, honestly. I don't have a lot of health items. I should have bought more stuff. But it's okay. I think I can instant win this fight. Because I brought the stick. Yeah! Yeah! Because this dog can absolutely kill you. This dog, big. Very strong. Greater dog. Bum ba dum ba -da -dum, bum ba dum ba dum You threw the stick and the dog ran to get it. You played fetch for a while. Uh oh. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Creator dog is waiting for your command. Pet. You just pet the air. Okay. Oh, okay. Ooh. I think, yeah. I gave him the stick, and that means I win. Yap, yap. Lick. Happy. Oh, see, you, baby. Bye, pupper. Wolf, my theme. I know, sorry, we get to hear it for so few, for so little. Just bum 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 ba dum ba da dum bum ba dum ba da bum ba ba bo ba da bo da ba da bo da ba da do bo ba ba. There, that's that's longer than the actually we actually heard it in the game. Human, this is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold the gauntlet of deadly terror. Oh my God! Look at the trap in the top right. This is too powerful. <laughs> that item is too strong. When I say the word, I will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. The tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. To activate it. Gonna. Gonna do it. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What, what hold up? I'm... I'm about to activate it now. That doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems 
maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I'm a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair. My traps are expertly cooked. This method is too direct, no class at all. The way it goes. I understand. I respect that a lot. Phew! He doesn't actually want to harm anybody. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Meh! Heh! Heh? Now, I, we're gonna do this again. Are you ready? Let's pay close attention to the left side of the screen. That's what's gonna happen. <gasps> okay. That's it. Lar, I never used the monster candy, so I'll just use it now. Lar, sometime later. I don't think I have enough healing items. Right? Like, I always have too much monster candy, but this time I actually didn't have enough. I don't know what my brother's gonna do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Welcome to Snowden. Yeah, that's my own fault for not stocking up, but that's okay. This challenge is cool because I like not having the yellow names. That actually makes it quite tough. I can't remember all the time. I, I, I cannot remember every single one of the puzzles, but it is fun. Hi. Uh, heals 11 HP, eat it twice. Yeah. Best bang for my buck, honestly. Cinnamon bun is good, but it overheals me, honestly. Uh, and yeah, I'll take the manly bandana. I love it. Well, I do love this. Sell. So, Huh? Sell something? Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it works where you come from, but... If I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. Take your time. Talk. Say hello. Hiya. Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? What do you do here? You want to know what to do here is Snowden? Grilby says food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. Also, can we talk about how good the shading is on this sprite work for this lady? I love it. Fucking Tuyoki did amazing art for this game. It's awesome. Temi Chang is very talented. Inn's right next door. Sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. This town's gotten a lot more interesting since then. History. Think back to your history class. Long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up a camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore what's in the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door... Forget about it. Your life. Life has been the same as usual. A little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we go, got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? This game is actually secretly anti-capitalist. The struggle she's freeing herself from is the capitalist. Wake up, America. <laughs> Capitalism. I, I am going to make that argument in my video about this game. But... I, I'm gonna make it much less frantically and evil sounding. <laughs> Bye now. Come again sometime. The sight of a friendly town fills you with determination. Use the box. Yeah. Wait. I still have the. Oh, I. Bleh, mm. I'm gonna put the stick away. I still have the bandage on, which I wasn't using as a healing item, apparently. Uh, yeah, I'll put- well, no, I'll hang on to the bandage. Oh, also- ooh, I gotta put the snowman piece away. I wasn't even thinking. There we go. There, now we got plenty. Now we'll heal past full. Snowden's premier hotel. When that is ADG, stay. Here's your room key. Make sure to bundle up. I do love this guy. These guys sing my favorite song in this game. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
Reese Huckin Spears with Undyne? That would be cute. While eating spaghetti, Lou writing Alphys is back, that would also be cute. Series of arts, my character interacts with characters in this game. That would be very fun. Yeah, honestly, that sounds like a good time. Hi, you look like you had a great sleep. Which is incredible, because you were only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? I don't know, I'm kid. What's my current HP? Oh yeah, I'm a 30 out of 20. That's pretty dope. I do love the inn. Let's talk to people. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. <laughs> that lady. Oh no. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Hee <laughs> Oh my god, it's Lou. Lou on a rope. Bun 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 bun. Bun 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 bun. Bun bun. That lady disturbs me. I think I figured it out. No, never mind. Does everyone like my hiccup voice? <laughs> no jade, wait, true. Scalies, yeah. Undying jade, makes sense, honestly. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree-like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Cute. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you got a, you're because you're wearing a striped shirt. <laughs> wow, that means you're a kid. This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. It's true. That's how it works. Oh, what do you guys say? Cute. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? <laughs> Cute. Also sad. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and... Ha! <laughs> ha! Hot guys! We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. Better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. <laughs> That's me. I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. He makes a statement like, Attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. That's also why I want a spiked collar. <laughs> okay. That's a, that's a little too much. <laughs> too much for the kids. Toriel giving Reese a pie. Aww, that's cute. Oh, face! Wait. Face! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah, I love that. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. Oh no, poor puppy. Dropped all his cards on the ground. <laughs> no baby. Doesn't know anything, not even ABCs. What are you? Um, isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. When you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. <laughs> Capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm, I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slip onto their butts. <laughs> Cute. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, an elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. <laughs> I love that. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. You're not going to make out with Undyne. Grilb says that he offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Ha! Because he's made of fire. That's funny. That's a good joke. Fish GF, my GF, adopted. She's my mom. 
Tori is everyone's mom, it's true. We're talking about Toriel in chat, apparently. I missed that. I thought we were saying Undyne was her mom. Library B. Library B. Library B. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. Can't read that book. I love working on the news, Pepper. There's so little to report, we just fill it with comics and games. That look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't ya? <laughs> you do have trouble doing crosswords. <laughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. It's pretty great. She's the number one. Love, hope, compassion. That's what people say monster souls are made of. The absolute nature of the soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Oh, burn. Monster History Part 4. Oh, I'm reading it in reverse. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, no way, I clicked it again. Ah, bada, 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 bada. Okay, let's, let's read it from the beginning. School report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their assistance will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? Kind of sick of writing this. Tor- <laughs> While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. They will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. I start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. It's cute. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If monster doesn't want to fight, his defenses will weaken. The crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, being with powerful souls struck with a desire to kill. Um, let's end the chapter here. Monster History Part 4. Fearing the humans no longer, we were moved out of our old city home. Braved harsh cold, damp swampland, and searing heat. Till we reach what we now call our capital. New home. Again, our king is really bad at names. <laughs> nice. And then we read the last one. That human souls don't need compassion to survive. Oof. <laughs> Got him. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside? Yes. It's empty. Oh, Sorry, Papyrus. Ooh. It's locked. Okay. Oh, I can't go in yet. And that's the place where I get dungeon stuff. Alright. Oh, wait. We gotta go see Ice Wolf. I almost forgot. I almost forgot my favorite boy. Uh, Luda, I'm not, I don't know if I could read that one. That's, <sighs> Lou dust all over an XL chance unflared. You have to know, you have to know that one, all right? Just like, yeah, yeah, all right. Look at this ice wolf go. Look at him doing. He's going. There's a song about this guy. Ice Wolf theme. Let's play Monsters and Humans. You aren't gonna make me be the human again, are you? Ah, to be young again, the world sure felt boundless. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. <laughs> knock, knock, knock. Never get to go in there. Oh. The River Man. I don't know if I'll get the perfect 66, but we'll see. We'll find out. I snorted my water, thanks. Yeah. It's for those of us who get it. That's all. That's all I can say. Alright. I think this is where the last thing we'll do today is bonk. Oh no, we'll do the Sands date, I think. That'll be the end. We're gonna... Unbonk and hug Papyrus. 
human. Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another puzzle solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. <laughs> I love that. Uh, also, I was just considering, like, maybe if I played this game again, like, if I just immediately did, like, another run after I finish this run, uh, I might do, a, like, I've, I've always thought to try a only, like, you basically do a genocide run, but you spare all the boss monsters, like Toriel, Papyrus, Undyne, you, you spare all of them, but you just delete everyone else, you know? Like, I just don't know what that would look like. I want to try it, though. I want to see what that what that kind of world would be, almost. I know that's very creepy, but it's like, I don't know, I just kind of want to see what the dialogue, how the dialogue would change. Be very interesting. Also, now we have 70 followers. Yo! I don't even know who the new follower is, but thank you! My alerts are supposed to go up on stream, but they're not lately, I don't know why. After all, I am very great. Don't even wonder what having- <laughs> I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Or I not. Shall be lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, will be your... No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That is papyrus. The newest member of the Royal Guard. <gasps> Combat. Papyrus blocks the way. Hell yeah, the song... Insult. How selfless. You want me to feel better about fighting you. I don't deserve such hospitality from you. Bones. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm gonna turn it up on mine because I like the song. If I talk louder, that's why. Pyrus is preparing a bone attack. I'm just gonna spare. So you won't fight. Then let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Oh... Look at those bows. Bing! Whoa! You're blue now! That's my attack! <laughs> You're blue now, hell yeah. This is a cool mechanic, I always love this one. Hop! Hop! Ho! Yep! Yep! Ho! Pyrus is considering his options. How high can you jump? Up, up, hiya, hiya, hiya! All right, Iris is considering his options. Don't make me use my special attack. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, ow! Took damage. Iris is trying hard to play it cool. Iris, attack twenty, defense twenty. Likes to say nya ha ha. Almost raise. Taste my future popularity. I thought he was required to say nya ha ha after you say that. Oh, what? Cheater. I was just trying hard to play it cool. Pirates is too busy fighting to flirt back. Gotcha. Head of the Royal Guard. Whoa. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Pirates is preparing a bone attack. Unparalleled Spaghettor. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, ha, ah! oh, cheater, I hate those, you gotta really stay near the middle for these, it smells like bones, uh, finally be proud of me, oh, ha, 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 virus is preparing a bone attack. Lou showing a cute drawing of him and Papyrus holding hands! That's cute. Being friends. King will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Ha. 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 Big jumps. Papyrus whispers, meh ha Brother, well, well, he won't change very much. Ho. 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 Papyrus is rattling his bones. I have lots of admirers, but... Oh, oh, 
Oh. Oh. Wow. Wow. Iris is trying hard to play it cool. How will I know if people sincerely like me? Oh. Wow. Oh. Wow. 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 Nice. Iris is rattling his bones. Someone like you is really rare. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, sad. Whoa. I don't know if I can fastball. I don't think I can. It smells like bones. I don't think that let you go. Whoa. Huh. Whoa. 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 <laughs> that little one scared me, actually. Pirates is trying hard to play it cool. After you're captured and sent away. Whoa. Wow! Uh, who cares? Give up! No. I won't give up. I'm too strong. Too cool. Huh. Huh. Ow. I just remembered a bad joke Sans told him in his frowning. Give up or face my special attack. Show me your special attack. Ah! Iris is preparing a bone attack. Yeah, very soon I will use my special attack. Whoa. Oh, this is that one. Huh. Huh. Alright, it's time for a bicycle. You ate one half of the bicycle. You covered 11 HP. Too long and I'll use that special attack. Whoa. Ow. Whoa. Preparing a bone attack. This is your last chance before my special attack. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa! 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 Iris is trying hard to play it cool. Behold, my special attack! <gasps> Dog! Puppy! What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bow! Hey, what are you- what- what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Well... Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Pyrus is getting ready for a regular attack. Ah, here's an absolutely normal attack. Whoa. Oh, I was not ready for that one. Whoa. 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 Dog. Oh. Cool. Dude, oh, I got hit by the dude. Oh, the bone on the motorcycle. Oh, the bone on the skateboard. Whoa! I made it. Oh, oh, I didn't make it yet. Oh, huh, 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 huh. See, bone. That was a good attack. I got conked. I looked up when you said puppy. Oh my goodness, I've been conditioned. Oh, whoops. Oh, I, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore I, the great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is sparing you. Will do. No, ho, ho. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend Quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess. I guess I can make allowance for you. Wow! I have friends! And who knew that all I needed to make them was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit, except for someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters- Oh no, okay. Some people I've heard don't like this plot point. Man, you're still going. Glad I could make it. That's sweet. Uh, 
I, I've, I've heard some people get annoyed at the plot point that people with a powerful soul can cross through. I know a lot of people got confused there. I'm like, why can the human go through the barrier when the barrier isn't broken? That doesn't make any sense. Like, it's explicitly said by Papyrus right here that if you have a powerful soul, you can get through. But you just only can get through by yourself. If you want to have monsters go through, they don't have powerful souls, so they probably won't be able to pass through. Because even Asgore, who's probably the most powerful of the monsters, really, he can't make it through, so that means probably no one else can. Maybe Undyne. But hard to say. And us monsters can return to the surface. I almost forgot to tell you. Reach the exit. You will have to pass for the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is, well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right back to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and hang out. <laughs> See a cool friend. I'm going to go buy another bicycle and then nap at the end. I think we'll, we'll have that be it for the for the stream. We'll do the rest of Snowden and the Sands date another time. I know Scion just got here. I'm sorry. So happy he steals Yoshi's flutter technique. Yeah, sure. He just <laughs> flutters away. Bails. Welcome to Snowden. Stay. Alright. I'm skipping through this one this time. We already heard it once. And you're only up there for like eight two, eight two minutes. But now we got 30 health. And let's buy another bicycle. Get it? Because it's me. I'm bicycle. I'm just kidding. I'm pan. I lied. I'm sorry. Excellent. Bye now. Come again sometime. See you around. Side of such a friendly town, busy with determination. Alright, and that's it. It's a good stopping place, I think. Quitting. Whoa! That just went out. Bye, jokes. I get it. Yeah, I forgot how fast that the game just bails on you. Well, alright. Thanks, for everyone, for coming out. I'll probably play this again, maybe tomorrow. Maybe I'll do a morning stream. I know one of my friends, Shane, who's like... It's currently like 3 a.m. for them right now wants to like uh watch me play one time and their time zone is so messed up but yeah i know you just got here i'm sorry i know both of you just got back i'm real sorry but i'm tired i'm tired of playing games i'm sorry i get much more burnt out on games than i do on art so i can usually stream art for like three hours but usually i just spend two hours on games have a good rest of your night all everybody and i'll play it again soon don't you worry and if you want to go see you know, what was up? You can always watch the VOD. I'm going to upload it to the VOD channel, I'm sure. Don't you worry. See you around, guys.